Good morning, everybody, and greetings from the sanctuary of the Epiphany Episcopal Church in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. The reason I'm here today is because I want to invite everyone to consider uh, attending this Saturday's Lenten workshop at 10 a.m. to 11, and one of the three offerings during that hour will be the traditional Stations of the Cross service right here in the sanctuary. And I thought I'd also give a uh, introduction to the service for those of you who may not know much or in some cases maybe anything about it. It's a, um, the, the Stations of the Cross is a service that's popular during Lent or to use the old fashioned word, Passion Time, which is the last two weeks of Lent. And basically what it is, is a recreation of the Via Dolorosa, which is to say the avenue from Pontius Pilate's house to a place in Jerusalem or near Jerusalem called Calvary, where the cross of Jesus was and where Jesus was crucified. In early, early Christianity, people would walk this route as part of their spiritual uh, remembrance and living into their Christian faith, honoring Jesus, and feeling the generosity, the grace of Jesus' courage, of his generosity, of his willingness to sacrifice himself for their flaws. And as a pilgrimage, people would walk this path. Well, Jerusalem is arguably one of the most screwed up cities on the planet and has been for 5,000 years. It's had a war-torn history, and including in the last 2,000 years, there were times when you couldn't make a pilgrimage to Jerusalem because it was controlled by other countries or other religions and uh, lots of acrimony there and a lack of peace. Uh, so people wanted to still do the pilgrimage, but they would have to do it elsewhere. So what they did was they invent, they remembered moments and steps that we have both biblically and some of them were extra biblical, meaning made up after the Bible was a fixed canon or a fixed book. Uh, you know, for instance, one of the stations of the cross used to be that Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. There is no Veronica in the Bible, but nice touch anyway. The, the stations we have here in the Epiphany Church, and the most common number for the Stations of the Cross these days is 14. In the last 2,000 years, the number of Stations in the Cross have varied from 7 to 30. So there's been variety, and there's actually a good message there. Rather than think, oh, that shows a lot of imprecision. Why is Christianity so imprecise? Well, because life is imprecise. And spiritual growth can be imprecise, too. What's right for one person may not be right for another. And that applies to Stations of the Cross. This is not a service for everybody. I happen to love it. It's really traditional. I remember the first time I did it, and we got to Station 12, which is almost always Jesus dies on the cross. And although I had known for 40 years that Jesus had died on the cross, this, my first station to the cross, it was like I was living it. And I felt the emotion of it and the power of it. And there were only like eight or nine of us at the St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Key West, Florida. And we sat there and wept. It was so moving. And so the station to the cross has had a special place in my heart ever since as a real opportunity to live into an extra closeness to Jesus. So I invite everyone to prayerfully consider whether or not on this Saturday they make the Stations of the Cross service, and there will be, I think, a bit of an explanation too on Saturday before the people do it, and to pray their way around the sanctuary and stop at each station. This is station number one, and as you can see, there are these framed art of Jesus, you know, Jesus meets his mother, Jesus, Cyrene picks up the cross. There are various events that we know from the Bible, from the story of Jesus' passion, of his Via Dolorosa from Pontius Pilate's house where he's convicted to his death on the cross and even being taken 
to the tomb. We'll pray our way around and through these stations. And my hunch is, is that for those of you who give this a try, it'll be a very powerful experience. And of course, for those of you who have been doing this as a part of your Lenten discipline for decades, this is an opportunity to join that because sometimes when you bring that experience to something, it's an offering to others. Your perspective, your faith, then is an offering to those who are here for the very first time. So, Stations of the Cross, this Saturday, March 27th, from 10 to 11 a.m., this is the place. And so, look forward to it. Look forward to seeing you here. Bye-bye.